Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this 0 to 100 makeup look that has a nice soft smoky brown eye and red lips. What I love about this is that it's full coverage, long lasting and it looks really good in pictures. To be honest, yes this makeup look is stated that it's for a date night but it can look good for any evening event. You don't need a date, take a look at me completely and utterly single, not gonna have any roses this Valentine's Day. I mean just look at me, it doesn't even phase me how completely alone I am. Yeah, okay, I get it. No, honestly, for real, you can wear this makeup look for pretty much any evening occasion or if you're like me, wear it to take a few pictures and then take it off and then spend the whole night in. An introvert's dream. If you guys like videos like this, then be sure to subscribe for more. Also, like this video so that I know that you like it. All my socials will be down below in the description box so you can find me and let's get on into this video. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with a fresh face, um, applying some lip balm to my lips and just making sure my hair is out of my face. And then I'm going to be applying my moisturizer. I'm going to be using the Glam Glow moisturizer that kind of has like a, a pearlescent tint to it. I really like moisturizers like this, especially when I'm going for quite a full coverage, just because I feel like it gives your face a little bit more dimension and it stops your face looking flat if that makes sense. But on the other hand, I do still get oily skin so I'm going to be applying some of this matte primer from Fenty Beauty on my kind of central area of my face. I mix together my foundation. The foundation that I'm mainly using is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation because this is honestly the most long lasting foundation I think I own. Um, and I mixed it with a little bit of um, another foundation just because the, the color didn't match me. It was a little bit too dark for me. Um, and then I applied my um, DK setting spray as well, which really helps to keep it on even longer and just helps to spread this around my face as well. I like doing this because uh, I just feel like it just helps everything blend in really well. I applied a relatively thin layer of this and then I went over in areas that needed a teeny bit more coverage to make it a little bit more flawless and just applied it on those areas. Next up I'm going to be moving on to my eyeshadow before concealer because I am going to need to clean up my eyes for this look. You can do your eyes first before foundation but honestly I didn't really think it through properly so um, it's up to you if you want to do that. Um, I'm applying my eye primer and this eye primer is from NARS. I'm applying it with my finger just making sure that it's evenly blended all over the eyelid and making sure that it goes right into the inner corner and also dragged out far as well. Because I want this eye look to be really soft, I'm taking this color from a contour palette and using it as my first transition shade just so that it can look super like skin toned, like very similar to the colors that would naturally be in my skin. I'm taking um, one of the palettes from Revolution and Patricia Bright's collab and I'm kind of taking a mixture of a lot of the browns in this palette and just applying this into the crease area and creating a, just a very soft brown color in the crease. I don't want anything too much or too smoky. As you can see, I'm kind of applying it quite gradually. And then I'm cleaning up the edge to show me where my smoky eyeliner is going to go. I find that having a guide really helps with this, so I like to clean it up quite a few times as I go along. I took the matte cream colour from that same palette and I just used it with a flat brush over my eyelid. I am creating almost a cut crease, but nothing too overly harsh. As you can see, I didn't apply concealer or primer underneath this. I just wanted it to look kind of like a soft cut crease, just so that the eye looks nice and well structured before we do the smoky eyeliner. So for my smoky liner, I am taking this brown gel liner from e.l.f. and I'm using this on my eyelid and an angled brush to help me to do this. I'm kind of doing this gradually, so I kind of did an angled shape and then I started blending it with a pencil brush with a little bit of brown eyeshadow and then I kind of just start going a bit more vigorous with it and slowly applying more and more um, dark brown eyeshadow, which is also from the Patricia Bright palette as well. And as you can see, I'm kind of just like gradually pulling it outwards, cleaning it up as I go like I mentioned and just gradually creating a nice transition upwards. I'm using kind of like a mixture of dark browns and warm browns just to help create that nice soft transition upwards um, but as you can see I don't want to apply anything too dark, I want to keep it quite soft. Also something to note about the shape of this is that I kept everything quite close to the outer portion of my eye and kept the inner portion quite free of product to make my eyes look more lifted. Next up I'm applying my concealer under my eyes finally because we are finished with the eye 
eyeshadow on the top of my lid and I'm mixing together two concealers because I really love to do this. I'm mixing the Tarte Shape Tape and the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Just because I use the foundation, um, the concealer is also really good and very, very matte and long lasting. So I wanted to make sure that this was also very long lasting and mixing the two was quite nice and bright under my eyes. I'm patting that in using my fingers and I use quite bright colors because I want my under eyes to look quite bright to have that kind of contrast with the smokiness on the eyes. I think it looks really good. I'm also making sure to set that into place using a small brush and then I am going to go in onto the other areas of my face and bronze too. I am using my Hoola Caramel Bronzer honestly because it's just one of the best bronzer colours ever. If you guys have any other recommendations let me know because I hit pan on this so quick so I need to find some other ones otherwise I'm going to be using Hoola Caramel for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm also using a brightening under eye powder just to further brighten my under eyes and make sure that it kind of stands out in comparison to the bronzer but I do want to make sure that it blends really well as well I don't want it to be any harsh lines between the two I want it to blend really seamlessly so I like to go back in with that other brush and just make sure it looks all nice and smooth I'm also applying this blush from Ofra and I think it's really important to apply a blush especially if you're going for a colored lip just because your face can look really drained of color so yeah blush kind of just brings some life back into the skin next I'm moving on to my eyebrows and I'm taking some clear brow gel and just setting my brows into place and as they dry I am doing my nose contour um, I think I need to do like an actual video on my nose contour I think I've said this so many times and I've never gotten around to it um, but I can definitely do a video dedicated to nose contour because I don't know I feel like nose contour just completely enhances the face and I couldn't do my face without contouring my nose so yeah I've got to make sure I do that in with this look just to help balance the whole face and then I'm going in and filling my eyebrows um, as you can see when I fill my eyebrows I like to extend it out quite straight these days and I like to really enhance the tail way more than I used to and um, just so I can kind of create that like straight shape if that makes sense and I start off with a lighter color and then I go in with a darker color honestly because I have no color that matches me right now I've like run out of all of my eyebrow pencils so that is that is the real honest reason as to why I'm using two I'm taking a little bit of concealer underneath the brows and just running underneath to clean up any bits that didn't look sharp or precise and also this also highlights the brow as well which is really nice Next up, I'm gonna be applying my lashes, which really enhance this look. It's super important, and I would definitely recommend if you are going to do a look like this, to apply eyelashes to help enhance this, just because it goes with the whole shape, the smokiness, lashes work so well. I'm using the Miami Flare um, lashes from Lily Lashes, and honestly, it's just because they are my favorite right now. I don't think I've ever found a more perfect lash. They're just my jam right now. I really, 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 really love them. And yeah, I apply a little bit of eyeliner in between my natural lashes and the fake ones, and also a little bit of eyeliner on the inner corner just to create that kind of cat triangle on the inner corner. Normally, I would leave the bottom lashes. I don't normally like to apply mascara on the bottom, but I applied a little bit for this look just because I wanted something a little bit more balanced. And then I went in with red lip liner from NYX, and then I went in with some liquid lipstick from Maybelline, and I applied it all over the lips. And as you can see, I did overline quite a bit, especially on the center of the lip, just because I want to, but you don't have to do that if it's not your kind of thing you definitely don't have to i love this color though it's so pretty and romantic it's a nice like red pink like it's a it's a it's a red with like, a pink undertone i just love it and then i applied a little bit of highlight and that is this look Finish, guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did then definitely give it a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and it lets me know that you like it subscribe if you haven't already and also be sure to follow me on social media too my links are down below and i will catch you all in the next one bye guys